Hello and welcome to the Street Crime UK YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Today we look at a woman left unable to smile after her thuggish boyfriend broke her jaw has said it is not justice after he uploaded pictures of himself laughing in his prison cell. Carol Kennedy, 22, a male model, has been regularly posting updates to his Instagram page on his antics and cushy lifestyle at HMP Lose. It comes as his former girlfriend, Bonnie Carroll, also 22, undergoes further rounds of surgery to try and fix her broken face. Mr. Kennedy, who was once dubbed Britain's worst teen in his home city of Brighton, launched a brutal attack on his girlfriend during a night out, fracturing her jaw in three places. He hatched a plan to cover up his assault by urging his girlfriend of six months to convince officers she did not know who the attacker was but he was arrested by her side in hospital the next day after her friend implicated him. The Kalashyar, who was modelled for John Paul Gaultier and strutted the catwalk at Paris Fashion Week, was given a four-year prison sentence for grievous bodily harm. Despite that, Mr Kennedy has shown little remorse as he posts images of himself larking around in jail with fellow inmates using a banned mobile phone. He is pictured flexing his muscles, grinning next to the other prisoners and even nude in the showers, using the hashtag HMP. Mr Kennedy also boasts of the toned physique he has got in prison. It's pictured next to a speaker system and has posted numerous references to illegal drugs. Miss Carroll, who lives in Brighton and works in a call centre, said her former boyfriend was not being punished enough. She said, he has got a phone putting pictures up of him enjoying himself in prison and I'm sat here with a broken face. He has no respect. He's not being punished. I don't think it is justice. Recalling her tumultuous relationship, she explained, we were together for about six months. I was told he was a very controlling person and in the first couple of months, the cracks started to show and he manipulated me and started playing mind games. Then it got violent, but I never went to the police about any of it before it got to this incident. But after he broke my jaw, he ruined my life. I can't smile properly and I hate my reflection. It's terrible, every picture he posts on his Instagram is another blow because I hate having pictures taken of me now. I look in the mirror and I can barely recognise myself. Mr Kennedy was notorious in Brighton as a teenager and, as aged 14, was handed an ASBO following a string of offences including assaulting police and doctors while drunk. Mr Kennedy was given a chance to break away from a life of crime when he signed up by a modelling agency in 2010 and his first shoot appeared in an ID magazine before he was offered work at Paris Fashion Week. But Mr Kennedy failed to stay out of trouble for long and was handed a two and a half year sentence after chasing a man through Brighton with a knife and threatening hospital staff in 2011. When he was serving his prison sentence for those offences, he was pictured online showing off with jail cellmate Sonny Barker in photos which angered Justice Secretary Chris Grayling. Mr Kennedy was pictured with luxury items including a PlayStation and a television after uploading the images to Facebook. At his latest court appearance in Luz, Mr Kennedy was jailed for three and a half years after being found guilty of grievous bodily harm and handed a six month consecutive sentence for theft. Mr Kennedy denied both charges but was found guilty and also handed an indefinite restraining order protecting Miss Carroll. Sussex police have issued a public appeal for help finding a local man, Coral Kennedy, after a woman was attacked in Brighton. Mr Kennedy, 28, formerly of Brunswick Palace, Hove and Gladstone Palace, Brighton, was present at the time the violent assault took place, the force said. So what are your thoughts about Coral Kennedy and how he attacked his then girlfriend, viciously breaking her jaw and disfiguring her face, requiring extensive surgery? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for joining us and until next time, stay safe.